I got cornbread, mac and cheese, yams, and collard greens, and some poulet. Okay, let me do my Keith Lee review. So, I look like Beetlejuice. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, <laughs> I just woke up. But we are officially, I believe, 14 days post-op. So, two weeks officially. Wait, today's Thursday. Yes, two weeks officially. So, I want to take the time to clean my fucking house. Y'all know me. If you've been on my channel, you've been on my socials, my house is usually spotless. Don't let the background fool you. It is a mess. Okay, but during surgery, I just wasn't able to keep up with putting things away, etc. My mom was here for only four days, so she did what she could in that time. And then since then, things have not been how they should. Anyways, we're going to clean this house today. And then later, my homegirl is coming over. We're going to go get food and get me out the house so that I can just have some normalcy other than waking up going to get a massage, coming home and staying home. I just wanna, I want human contact other than the doctor's office, okay? So thankfully, bless her heart, <laughs> she'll, she'll, she'll be here for me today. Anyways, let's start cleaning this fucking house. We're gonna start with downstairs since I am down here and then we're gonna work our way upstairs. We have, it's 10 a.m. We have until two to get it looking decent enough to where my homegirl can be over here and I not feel ashamed, okay? And then after I clean, we'll work on me, okay? I'll, I'll shower and do something with my hair. Don't worry about that right now. But yeah, let's start straightening this up because it's a mess. Okay, so I have occupied the boys with some unsweetened applesauce that I put in the freezer for them. Um, but anyways, if I don't occupy them, they're going to follow me around the house while I'm cleaning and it's annoying, so that'll keep them busy. All right. All right, first things first, we light a candle. If you're anything like me, this just like lighting a candle literally is just like the signification of your house is going to be clean. I don't know if that makes sense, but if you get it, you get it. Okay, so this is a before, just so we're aware. <laughs> Usually there's nothing on my counters, absolutely nothing. So let's see if we can get that down. I do have their dog food and stuff up here because I can't like physically bend over like to the bottom cabinets yet because I'm just not supposed to for like at least two more weeks. So that might stay, but the pills and stuff can be organized and all that stuff can be organized. So let's see if we can handle that. Thankfully, I don't get as winded as I used to in the first week. Like I can do stuff and I'm not like so out of breath anymore like I used to be. I still can get winded if I'm doing too much. That's why I'm like, gonna pace myself i have a lot of time it's only 10 a.m so i'm not gonna do this super fast as long as i'm productive in doing it we're fine but thankfully i don't get as winded as i did the first week of recovery so if you know me you know i haven't cooked on this stove really and i'm still gonna clean it off like just for dust etc i don't know i'm not supposed to be lifting anything over five pounds so hopefully these little thingies are not I'm sure there's like better stuff I could clean with my stove other than Mr. Clean, but since I don't really cook, um, I just use this anyways. I just let it sit for like 30 seconds and then most of the stuff comes up. Ugh. Should I get Starbucks today? <laughs> okay, stove is clean. Let's try to organize this stuff. I don't know where to put this shit, but let's try to find a spot. The bag of oranges, right? Instead of fucking candy, because we don't need candy, I put the oranges in this fruit bowl. This one is a little whatever, but tell me this isn't fall. Like, tell me this isn't fall aesthetic. Like, orange, come on now. Anyways, I'm gonna restock them. Hopefully I'm gonna actually eat them, but this is so cute. One of you on my channel recommended because <laughs> 
I know this looks crazy, but I was complaining that the bread doesn't match the aesthetic on my counter. And I do have a bread box, but if I put it in there, I forget it exists. So they said, if you don't use your microwave much, put your bread in your microwave. And I swear to God, let's, I mean, I might forget that too, like out of sight, out of mind, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, so this side is done. Thankfully, it looks so much better. Now let's work on this island. Before I empty the dishwasher and stuff, I want to low key organize this because I'll just be throwing shit in here. So let's try to make this look a little better. Okay, that's a little better. Okay, a little more organization. So I started reading this book yesterday literally called the mountain is you and basically it was saying how sometimes when your space is chaotic and messy so are you so today i'm like i'm not doing anything for the first half of my day and i've already dedicated time to like read and do all the other things i want to do today why not clean you know like if my space is clean my mind will be clean and clear so you know i was like honestly after surgery I've been like trying to wait until I'm fully healed to clean my house, but it's like, girl, if you're able to move and walk around and stuff, why not? Like you don't have to wait seven weeks to clean your house. That's fucking insane. So yeah, I'm fine. I'm able to move around. I'm mobile. Why not clean? I can't also move my arms super far just because one, I had arm lipo, <laughs> but two, this compression garment um, kind of restricts me a little, but also my arms probably hurt more than all of this. They, they hurt. <laughs> my arms definitely hurt probably because they never get rest. You know what I mean? We're always using our arms. I'm always on my phone. I'm always doing something with my arms. like. Your arms never get rest. Unless I could literally stand in a cast for like a month and not use my arms, that would be the only way. But since our arms are always moving and stuff, if you get arm lipo, your arms are gonna hurt worse than your abdomen, to be honest. It's uncomfortable as hell. One of my favorite things to do, which is weird, is scrub my sink. I don't know why. And isn't this so cute? This is a scrub mama. I got it when my mom came to visit, or take care of me, I should say. But I got it for her, just cause it was cuter, but I love this. It smells so good, oh. Okay, that looks a lot better, okay? It looks so much better, yes. And it only took me, what, 25 minutes? Cause I'm moving a little slow, but yeah. I'm just gonna freshen up the couch a little, fluff the pillows and stuff, and then probably just vacuum a little down here. Now, normally I would do my big vacuum that I have upstairs. I would just bring it down here, but I don't know if it's over five pounds and I don't wanna carry it. So I'm gonna use this one. I got this from the TikTok shop, by the way, y'all. It's cool. <laughs> it's cool. It's not as deep as my shark vacuum upstairs, but it is cute. It gets some stuff up, like it's just as far as downstairs goes, cause like it's hardwood instead of carpet. But it's it's cool. It's cute. It does die very fast though. I don't like that. Alright, just vacuumed. Vacuumed. And yeah. Everything is clean. I'm gonna take some stuff upstairs that don't belong down here, but that's basically it for downstairs. Okay, right, so laundry, I'm gonna do a load. These are all clean, by the way, but I just wanna wash some stuff, especially my arm garment because I've been sweating while I've been cleaning, so it probably smells terrible. But yeah, let's do a load of laundry. Even though I don't use my loft, <laughs> My dogs do, as you can see with all the hair. So I'll just spray the bean bag sometimes with um, the fabric thingy. Reaper loves the bean bags. Abel, not so much, but just cause. All right, so probably our biggest issue <laughs> is the bed. Um, again, just like post-op surgery shit that doesn't need to be here anymore since I'm feeling better. But yeah, let's try to get this shit cleaned up. Bathroom is no better, by the way. But we'll handle it. Y'all know me. I'ma get it done.
honestly all cleaning really is is just having places to put things like in an organization you know what i mean like yes you do have to clean like you have to wipe stuff off you have to desanitize stuff all that you have to wash things but if you clean and still don't have a place to put things it's not gonna look clean even if it is clean you know okay that looks so much better yes honey yes my pet peeve right now is that i can't like bend over how i normally would to get all my skincare products like i probably could with some effort but i just told my mom when she was here to put my skincare stuff up here so i could like do it but honestly i haven't even been doing my skincare like by the end of the night each night i'm so freaking tired so it's just up here now but it's so fucking annoying a few new things i bought recently so i literally seen this at the grocery store <laughs> no idea what this is or this brand but when i opened it it smelled amazing so i just bought it um won't be able to use it for you know the next two and a half weeks but whatever and then beyonce's ignore my dirtiness i haven't cleaned in here yet beyonce's um hair care line so this does smell amazing but the reviews and like the raving about this y'all i have to try this as soon as i'm able to wash my hair i'm gonna use these because Y'all swear by it, so we'll see. Y'all, just give me two and a half more weeks and this dub is going right back in my motherfucking shower. Ugh, I'm so tired. So freaking tired of having to take the antibacterial soap and just pour it over me because my arms hurt and I can't exfoliate. Like, I've never felt more disgusting, so super excited that time is flying by because yeah by the way if you're getting surgery just know you won't be able to use regular soap <laughs> for at least four weeks it's gross oh this is so refreshing to see i haven't seen the sink be clean in two weeks oh it was driving me crazy i mean it's not as decluttered as i would like it to be but i honestly can't help that at the moment but as soon as I can, all this shit will be off of here. As soon as I hit that fucking mark where I can bend over and put these products back in the shower and stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Soon. Fortunately, that's as clean as we can get it. I'm going to vacuum in here. But all that stuff is just going to stay on there for now until two more weeks, unfortunately. Now, I don't know if I can actually vacuum, but... To be honest, this doesn't feel like five pounds, or if it is, it might be like right at five pounds, so I think I should be good. I'm more so just worried about the arms, but we should be fine. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong by vacuuming. Hopefully not. <laughs> I'll just take it really slow. It doesn't feel heavy though. It feels pretty lightweight. I hope I'm not doing anything wrong. Alright, babes. That is as clean as I can get this house right now. Under the circumstances. But I did a pretty good job. I'm kind of proud of myself. Downstairs looks really good, so we're good. So in a few days, I want to be able to wash my hair for the first time in 14 days. So I think until the next few days, I'm just gonna oil, <laughs> I look crazy. I'm gonna oil my scalp with my favorite oils just because I haven't put oils in my hair in a little minute. So let me show you the oils that I like to use. Okay, so we did used to use Miel. Was it Rosemary? I don't know. We used to use Miel after everything that came out about Miel. We don't really use her anymore. But anyways, I still have these two that I still use. This is Wild Growth Hair Oil, um, hairgrowfast.com. Everyone knows about this. I still use this years later. This has never failed me, okay? And also, this is a newer one for me. This is Colin Clig, I don't know. But anyways, uh, Jojoba Oil is really, really good for you. And also on top of those, when I get braids and stuff, after we braid my hair, I like to put blue magic on my scalp. And I do this while the braids are in my hair because 
this we used to use back in the day when I was a little kid and it never failed us and our hair grew so so fast with this so I went and bought this again like a few months ago still smells the same so I've been using this recently um this year when I get braids and stuff I'll put this on my scalp but these three are the ones that I'm currently using and also if you have any recommendations for other ones put them in the comments because I'm always looking for some new hair growth oil. I think right now I'm gonna do some wild growth. And I also, when I put my wild growth in, I'll distribute it, brush it through, and then I'll do this and like massage it through also. So I'll just randomly start putting it throughout my head, anywhere really, because it's gonna get everywhere anyways. Oh my God, I look so crazy. I literally look like I just got out of a, a psych ward. Oh my God. Please don't judge me, y'all. Give me three weeks and I'm gonna be motherfucking snatched again, okay? Hair done, nails done, it, la lashes done, body done. <laughs> Everything did, okay? Once you feel like it's enough in there, you'll take a brush. This has become my favorite brush recently, the Unbrush. Yes, this literally, like they were not lying about this. Look at that. Haven't brushed my hair in two days. Look at that, with ease, just goes through. Anyways, I've been using this a lot. But yeah, I'll just brush it through really good. I cut my hair again recently, y'all. <laughs> because once I did the burgundy, I feel like I did a lot of damage to it. So <laughs> I cut it again recently. But to be honest, it's growing pretty fast. Probably because I'm not touching it now. But anywho, I'll just keep brushing it in different directions, all the way down to the ends, even in the back. Okay, so once you're done brushing it through, you'll take one of these. This is from Amazon, I believe. And then I just literally... I don't know, it like does something to the cells or something, like activates them or something, I don't know, but I stand by this, it works. Ooh, it feels good, and it feels good too. But you know what's even better? If you flip your hair over and do it upside down, which really, really gets those hair cells activated and stuff. I love doing that too. I don't really have much to flip over, but as long as your head is down, I think, and your hair is flipped over, and you just do this with some oil. This feels so good. I can literally do this all day. That's all I'd be doing. And I'll leave this in for two or three days and then I'll wash it out. And yeah. All right, so Lex is like five, 10 minutes away. So I literally just put a sweatsuit on because anything else is gonna look ridiculous. Like <laughs> I'm still wearing my arm thingy and my faha. So I'm just covering it. And then I just put my hair in a little tiny, little tiny pony. Anywho, she should be here in a second. Thank you for getting me out the house though. You are I know, I'm so, so excited. Hungry. I mean, I haven't really been by that. I hope it's good. It's so cute in here. No. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's see what they got. So we have legs. Um, they just got so much shit. I don't have to literally sit here and go through it and see what sounds the best. This, damn, it just keeps going. Oh my God. Jesus. Ooh. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, wait, let me remember what I got. So I got a, a leg. I got cornbread, mac and cheese, yams, and collard greens, and some poulet. Looks so good. Okay, let me do my Keith Lee review. This is the chicken and cornbread, and then I have all my sides right here. Okay, so I tasted the cornbread already. Bomb. It's actually a turkey leg, Lex told me, because I thought it was chicken. Bomb. Bomb. Mm. Let me try the sides. Okay, so mac and cheese was cool i give it a seven maybe like an eight i don't know it's mac and cheese it's cool greens is definitely an eight these are some bomb ass greens this is how you make greens right here mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
messy as hell though dripping everywhere but good mm -hmm. did not like the yams they taste like they made them with maple syrup or something like just uh-uh not how yams are supposed to taste not not yams in my family we make them with brown sugar and marshmallow and all types of shit. We don't make them with fucking maple syrup. I don't know. They just didn't taste right. But everything else. I'm home. Oh, he's crazy. Crazy boy. Abel Jean, let's go potty. Y'all yeah, got home, fed my dogs. I'm pooped. I'm so sleepy, like, mind you, we didn't even do anything. We literally, well, I cleaned all day this morning, and then we went out, so maybe that did it, but I'm so sleepy. I'm so tired, y'all. I'm just sitting here, laying here, watching TV. Time for you to go to sleep. Lay down. Lay down. <laughs> you didn't kick them off the bed. Night, night. I'm so tired, y'all. Today drain me. Thankfully, I have absolutely nothing to do tomorrow. So I'm going to sleep, sleep, sleep and relax tomorrow. Read, read some books, watch some TV, just, you know, but I, I just, I really wanted to get out of the house. I wanted to see my home girl. We literally were just talking and like telling each other what we're going through and like the things we want in life, etc. Like I really needed one of those days because just being in this house and just healing is cool. But th like this is my thing. Yes, I'm a homebody, but I'm a homebody by choice. <laughs> I don't like and that's why I'm like, I would never get another surgery unless it was like literally required to save my life because I, I can't I cannot s stay stuck in the house because I have to because I want to. Yes, not because I have to. So anyways, I needed a day like that. The food was the food was good for filling. I'm still full. <laughs> I'm about to shower, you know, get myself together, get in the bed, binge watch Netflix and go the fuck to sleep. <laughs> okay, so this is a cute little vlog to keep you guys entertained until the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. And yeah, till next time. Love you, indie team. Bye.